question for you guys. Uh, both of these individuals were recently inducted into the Nation of Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. They both had extraordinary careers. Who do you think was the better of the two? Of course, I'm talking about Jason Kidd and Steve Nash. Now, I don't think there's any right or wrong answer on this one. Um, me personally, I lean toward Jason Kidd, and um, I'll tell you why. First of all, I think that Steve Nash was an exceptional player. Um, during his run, uh, in particular with the Phoenix Suns, I think he was the game's premier passer. Um, of course, twice he led the, uh, twice he was the league's MVP, um, and he ran uh, the system in Phoenix, Mike D'Antoni's system, to perfection. In many ways, it was that Phoenix team which helped to popularize. It was rather revolutionary because that team, though they never went to an NBA final, they won a championship, they helped to popularize the style of basketball that you see now. Uh, although the type of basketball you see now is on a whole other level when it comes to offense, uh, rule changes, and whatnot. But Steve Nash was a remarkable shooter. Um, you can make the argument. He's the greatest statistical shooter we've ever had. I think he shot 49% from the floor for his career. That's remarkable for a guard of his size. Uh, I think he was about a 42 to 43% career three-point shooter. And, of course, he's the all-time leader in free throw percentage. So he has a, a great case for being uh, the greatest overall shooter of all time. Um. But there's some caveats there. Uh, when you compare him to Jason Kidd, Nash has a slight edge when it comes to assists per game. But you can make the argument that some of that has to do with the system that he's playing in. Um, Jason Kidd was never a great shooter. He worked himself into becoming a great standstill, or, or not great, but a very good standstill three-point shooter toward the second half of his career, um, to the point where he's among the league leaders all time and three-pointers made. I want to say he's like in the top ten. Um, what truly sets these two apart uh, is kids' versatility and versatility, strength, and his defense. Um, in many ways, Jason Kidd was like his era's Westbrook, except for um, he didn't quite have Westbrook's explosiveness and athleticism. Um, and he was not really a, didn't really have a scorer's mentality, though he could score to an extent. Um, I think in his prime, Kid would get you between 15 to 18 points a game, eight maybe eight rebounds, eight or nine assists per game. Um, I believe his career high is 42. I remember that game. It was with Phoenix. So he could score when he wanted to, but he was not a self-centered player by any means or stretch of the, of the imagination. Um, also, when you look at what he was able to do with what he had, all right. Um, twice he went to the NBA Finals with a Nets team which boasted of guys like Kenyon Martin, Terry Kittles, Richard Jefferson, who's probably the most talented scorer uh, on the team, Keith Van Horn, you know. He didn't really have a team loaded with all stars, and he also played in the era, an era that I love, where teams and players still played defense. It wasn't 
that uncommon to have final scores, 75, 74, you know. So his numbers weren't as inflated as a Westbrook's. Now, don't, I'm not trying to take anything from Russell Westbrook, but it's amazing that Jason Kidd had, I believe, 107 career triple-doubles in his career, considering that he played a big portion of his career with the New Jersey Nets and a big portion of his career in the old NBA, I like to call it now, where the rule changes, where the rules still allowed, uh, where the rules still allow uh, defensive players to be able to effectively uh, limit a lot of what offensive players are able to do, or at least make offensive players work a lot harder to be able to do what they can do. And um, that's it with me, you know. That's just me. I just think Kidd was the better player, uh, but not by a huge margin either. And also, I think Kidd has the edge in longevity. Uh, I thought Kidd played better for longer. Uh, Nash kind of fell apart at the end. Um, and I think Kidd has more accolades. Kidd was the rookie of the year, co-rookie of the year in 94-95, along with Grant Hill. And um, Jason Kidd was more NBA-ready. Uh, Jason Kidd, stronger, exceptional rebounder for his position and size. Uh, you get the, the picture. So tell me what you guys think.